Hi, David here of Altamar A to B and Lancaster Honda and here we've got an absolutely amazing example of a Mark 8 Civic. So it is an automatic, if that's something you're after, but otherwise it's an EX spec Civic. It's got sat nav, it's got leather seats, it's got pretty much everything you could possibly get on one of these, it's got it. So what I'll do in this video is I'll just go around the vehicle, show you the condition it's in and I'll show you loads of those features. So the first place I always start is with the alloy design, so that's your driver side rear wheel. And that you just heard was car locking itself. And as you can see though, the wheel's in good condition. No real wear and tear anywhere. And down the side of the vehicle, you can see as well, condition's really good. And moving on. No damage to the wing mirror cap. Onto the front alloy. Then moving around. As you can see, the paintwork's in great condition. There's no scuffs on any corners of it. Here's a really nice example, this one. For a 2011, it's only done 40,000 miles as well, so it does have very low mileage for the age. So if you're after a Civic like this shape and you want a really good example of one with low mileage, something you can kind of be proud of, this is the exact car for you. And as you can tell as well, you've also got the panoramic roof. And then down the side of the vehicle again, see nothing wrong there and then passenger rear alloy now I'll just pop the uh, boot open so you can have a look inside it and as you can see as well you do get parking sensors on the rear so if you do have any concerns about the spoiler through the, the rear window which shouldn't really be a big issue I've actually got one of these Civics and it doesn't really impact your view much at all if anything it actually uh, stops headlights behind you glaring through at your uh, rear view mirror quite handy but if you do have any issues with that you do have parking sensors there to make life a little bit easier so into the boot anyway i've put one side down so you can see it does fold completely flat and then in the boot itself you do get some mats under there which we are going to give a clean this evening and you can also drop the boot down as well so what you can do is you can pull it forward and lower it if you want it a little bit lower but it is quite handy you can get a spare wheel under there if you are determined to but there is tyre inflation kit just behind there if it's not something you're too bothered about and just before we move on as well you do get 12 volt power outlet in the boot as well if you do need to charge anything back here we'll just close that up and i'll show you the back seats so first thing you notice anyway is the leather you also get center armrest with two cup holders in it and then with them being the honda's magic seat system you can lift the seat up fold the base in it clicks into place so you can get really tall vertical items in there and as you can see as well the base actually folds completely flat into the floor that's how you get a completely flat load straight through and then to put it back down just lift the handle up it unlatches itself click straight in really simple system makes the car way more practical than you think for some of this size so i'm moving into the vehicle now you've got electric windows all around and you've got electric folding wing mirrors You've also got a start button, but you also have to pop the key in. So, key goes in. And there you go, starts nice and smoothly. As you can see there, mileage, 40,000. Well, you can see there's a bit low fuel, but we always make sure there's a bit in before handover. 40,430. So it is very low mileage. So onto the whole host of features in here. So up there you've got your parking sensors button, vehicle stability assist. You can switch between kilometers or miles per hour and then you've got your headlight washers and then you've got your start button just there and onto the wheel you've got your cruise control settings here so that's your main button you press that on then set and you can up it lower it and cancel with that below there you've got all your settings for the trip computer so you can flip through your miles per gallon your range that sort of stuff for that one and then reset them underneath over on this side you've got your phone controls so you've got answer decline and a back button and then below you've got another back button and a uh, voice control button then you've got all your sort of radio controls here as well you've got automatic lights on that side automatic wipers on that side and you've got dual zone climate control here so you just whack the auto button and as you can see temperatures up there and adjust both together you can hit dual and it'll just adjust one and then if you want them back to the same again you turn dual off and there you go both onto the driver's temp We'll turn that off for now as you may have also spotted as well you do get sat nav in this vehicle and there's our current location whiteland industrial estate so the controls for that are all here so you've got all your radio controls in this section and then you've got all your sat nav controls on that section there 
So if you press menu, for example, it just goes onto that one there. If you want to turn the volume on inside, that all goes on that screen there. So I'll keep it off just for the sake of it, because this video has to go through YouTube. Don't want it getting uh, taken down. But you do get a few options. So CD aux there will also flick through your uh, USB, because under the center armrest here, you do have auxiliary input, USB input, and you've got a 12 volt power outlet under there. While we're on 12 volt power outlets, you've also got one in the middle just here, just behind the ashtray that is removable. And then just under there, you've got your cup holders, which are adjustable if you've got different size items in there. Or if you want it just as storage, you can just slide it out of the way and then you've got a whole storage tray there. Personally, I'd leave it in the middle. So then we've got automatic gearbox there, so you do get a few manual options at the bottom, but it's pretty standard as you'd expect. And then there's just a little storage bit under there. Say a little, you could definitely get a pair of sunglasses in there if you wanted to. And just to finish up, last couple of little things. So in the glove box, you do have locking wheel nuts there. It's also a DVD player inside. You've also got service history and everything in the book. That'll be available in photos if you want to have a look at that. And now last little thing, just before I stop the video, apologize for the beeping, but it gives me a slightly better angle to show you this one. So here's a split roof with a little button up there. Just press that. And it's also tinted as well, so you won't get lorry drivers just looking down in at you. As you can see there, can't really see too clearly through that. But from the inside out, very nice and clear. So if there's anything I've not covered in this video, or you'd like a bit more info, maybe you even want to come down and see the vehicle in person, just give us a call, we'll see what we can do. Thanks, take care, bye.